Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. In today's video, we are at Walmart to look for a little decorating inspiration and we will be putting together a couple vignettes right here in the store. But before we get to that, I want to just stroll around taking it all in and seeing what piques my interest. When I do these types of videos, I do try to bring you something I wouldn't necessarily do at home and that is to incorporate color so right off the bat this beautiful berry garland caught my eye then turning the corner I found all of their Christmas picks and I will have to say they did not disappoint here and if you don't have a Hobby Lobby or Michaels close by do not fret because Walmart has a great selection of course these muted tones really stood out to me and i just had to pick these up as well and will hope that i can find something to put them together with later on Now, if beaded garlands are your thing, I would definitely say take a look here because they had so many different colors and styles to choose from. I'm sure you're gonna find one to fit your taste. Now, the next thing that I just kind of wanted to show you is I have noticed as of late that tinsel is making its way back it's so funny and it brought back so many memories to just see it here on the end cap but i have seen it all over pinterest if you're looking at vintage inspired christmas trees or kind of a victorian look that is definitely the way to go is what it seems like Next, I wanted to point out the end cap with fairy lights because I know I mentioned them all throughout the year and Walmart always seems to have a huge selection this time of year. Now, obviously you can get them now or you could wait until after the new year when they're all on clearance and just stock up until your heart's content. Now, this end aisle here in our store was my absolute favorite when it came to Christmas decor this year at Walmart. There were so many beautiful decor items, things that maybe I would not necessarily use in our own home, like this St. Nick, but he was so pretty to me. I absolutely love the vintage looking St. Nick's. And this one did not disappoint between his gorgeous coat and tweed vest he wore. The detail of the buttons and the gloves were just such a perfect combo and made him really stand out to me. And now there is one aisle that I wanted to be sure to point out to you and remind you not to just walk by it. And that is the mini ornament aisle. Now these little goodies can add so much to a gift as just added decor, or they can dress up a simple napkin ring. They can be used all throughout the house, dangling from canister lids. Lamp switches are another place to display them next to a candle or even on a hot cocoa board. Their uses are endless. Now these ornaments were absolutely gorgeous. I fell in love with them because I love the vintage look of them. I wish that they had more colors. There were actually only two boxes of the red ones left. Then I looked over and just happened across this beautiful plaid pillow. So I had to pick that up for one of the vignettes because it's just too cute to pass by. And here are a few more mini ornaments and they were the perfect touch for this vignette as well, so I put those in the cart too. After collecting my Christmas decor, I kind of made a decision to create tablescapes out of what I found. My last video really lent me some inspiration about simple and easy transitional tablescapes, and I began to think, how cute would it be to use both of these this season? I think this beautiful red collection could be such a cute display for breakfast Christmas Eve morning 
or maybe even a simple lunch with a family favorite soup and sandwich. Then they could easily be switched out really quick for the next day as everyone gathers around the table for a big Christmas dinner. And Walmart makes it easy for different tablescapes to come to life without really having to break the bank because things are always so affordable here and they have single pieces on hand all the time. So you really don't have to overspend or buy entire sets to create a brand new look. And they have all the added touches that you need, be it new glassware, napkins, table runners, anything that your heart could want, you can normally find right on hand at a very good price. Along with Christmas lights, I love the idea of bringing in candlelight as well. And Better Homes and Gardens has some great pieces to choose from. So make sure to stop by and take a look at the great selection they have on hand. Now, if you haven't heard, Walmart has jumped on the Dollar Spot Express and now has their very own Dollar Spot right up front with a lot of goodies to look at and choose from. And as I walked in this morning, I quickly walked through this area and just kind of wanted to take it all in and see if I saw anything here. And I did end up remembering that I saw these small charcuterie boards and I thought they would work so well paired together with those red bowls. So I wanted to pick them up really quickly. Now there is a small wreath that I wanna show you in a couple seconds here. And I thought it was beautiful once you fluffed it up. It is a little steep in price, it's $5. I think it might be better priced at three, but who am I to say? I just love the look of it though, and it's very different from what I've seen around town, so I wanted to point that out. But let's go ahead and get started on putting this first look together. I absolutely love this look. I, I think it could be something you leave up the entire season. It could be your main focal point for your Christmas table. It could be something, like I said, that you put up for Christmas Eve morning or lunchtime, you could maybe put it up now and leave it up until then. It, there's just so much that could go on with this. I think you could dress it up a little bit more if you purchase some Cardinals. Now, there weren't any here at Walmart. I looked up and down the aisles a couple times and just couldn't find anything, but I did find some on Amazon. I'll leave a picture connected to this at the end, and then I will go ahead and leave how much they were along with all the other prices like I normally do when I do a video like this, but I'm not going to link the Cardinals because there were so many to choose from and I've not actually purchased these, so I don't know how good they are. So I don't want to necessarily tag my name to these if you buy them and they just don't stand up to what they should. But I think this whole tablescape is absolutely so sweet. I love the plaid. The red is just gorgeous. The ornaments are absolutely beautiful. And I think if they were taken and placed in and out of that garland all down the center of the table, adding in some Christmas lights and those candles, a couple cardinals, it would just be a spectacular table. Using these small mini ornaments as your napkin rings along with this beautiful velvet ribbon, maybe tie the ribbon around the back of your chairs. There's just so much you can do with this and I think it would be 
absolutely beautiful and just stand out in any home. Okay, friends, if you are new here, or maybe you just have never seen me do one of these decorate in the store videos before, I have a really quick disclaimer. Please know that I do this with the manager's consent and that I also take the time to make sure that everything is put back in its place even more perfect than the way I found it. I also take a picture of each of the items so you can see them up close and I insert their prices and barcodes just in case you would like to find the items online. Now I also total up the items. Now in this case I totaled it up for a table of four adding in three candles instead of the two, but remember if you already have some on hand in your own home, like I do myself, you could obviously save money there. Now the grand total was $154, which isn't necessarily on the cheap side, but also not so horribly expensive either. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. Once we get done here, we'll move on to the next, but I just wanted to leave that information here for you so you know exactly what is going on in this video. Moving on to the next tablescape, I will say this was my favorite because of the color story. You all know I am definitely a neutral decorator in my own home, so these colors really spoke to me. Now when putting this garland together, I simply use picks here at Walmart, and you have seen me actually do this in our own home, but if you were making a much larger table, maybe consider just adding these sort of things to your your own garland that you already have on hand at home. This is going to add so much character, texture, and color to your own garland and create a much richer and more lush look overall. Adding in Christmas lights is just going to send it over the top. Now also, if you are creating a centerpiece for a larger table, you may consider adding a riser to your St. Nick to help him stand out a little bit more as that center focal point maybe grouping a couple things with him just to make him look a little bit more robust and grand. Then you could also add in a few more trees grouped together on each side to kind of make smaller focal points just to make your tablescape larger and fill up the entire table. Now this could be used in so many different ways. Again, the color story is absolutely beautiful to me, but I know a lot of you really desire color in your own homes and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know how to do it. So you could easily switch out these colors for reds and greens or whatever color story you have going on in your own decor. It's just kind of showing you a different look. And so that's what we're doing here. But let's stand back, take a good look at it and see what you think.
Okay, for this look, I did go ahead and add up for a setting of four once again, and we came to a grand total of $216. Now that is including the glasses, the very neutral napkins and table runners. So if you have those, you could definitely take away from that end price. Plus I did add in quite a few picks and they were each $5. So I think just the picks alone were $70. So think about that as well. If you have picks on hand that you could already put in it, again, you could use everything that you have on hand at home and not buy a single thing. This is just again to give you some inspiration for something a little different. But we'll go ahead and let you look at every one of these items, their price and also that scan code just in case you do want to purchase something online. I did go ahead and fill up my cart and I was going to put everything away so you'll see that but I came across something that I wanted to show you on the way back so that's included as well but let me go ahead and let you just take a look. Friends, I know that usually towards the end of my video, I try to always leave some form of encouragement or maybe just read a scripture for the week. But this week, I I just really want to do something a little bit different. And um, sorry, I'm already getting emotional. I hope you understand. But I really could use your prayers this month. Um, November is always super hard for me because I've lost both my parents. I lost my daddy 12 years ago and I lost my mama eight years ago and it has been the hardest thing to deal with. November is hard because they used to take our boys each year to go pick out new Hallmark ornaments every November and then when the boys turned 12 they would pick out um a new set or a new part to their Christmas village. So they put together both. They put together ornaments and a Christmas village. Well, I have not set either of them up for the last eight years. And this year, Josiah came to me and asked me, Mom, can you think you could handle putting up the villages? And I want to make it such a special time for them and not act like I am right now. So I could really use your prayers to give me strength through this time because I don't know. I don't know why I am still dealing with so much emotion over it. But if you could, please just say some extra prayers for me. I would really, really appreciate it. And the last thing that I wanted to point out was this bedding. Sorry, I'm still emotional. I walked by and saw this and I thought this was such a gorgeous color and would really go with that last set of decor. So I wanted to point it out for you because it looked very luxurious. It was $74 for the set. So I'll go ahead and leave the price and that scan code again for you once again. But for now, I'm gonna wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.